what's up youtube welcome to this video so we are talking about how can we send concurrent or parallel request using postman so the answer is we cannot send a concurrent request using the postman we have to take help from a friend called fiddler so go to the web browser and search for fiddler free web tool and download this uh, software from Telerik. click download and then run this setup I agree install And then this is uh, the tool that will help us to run the concurrent request. Let's start this. Yes. A little heads up that if you are using a, a messenger like Slack or something like that, uh, the fiddler sometimes disturbs this application so uh, it won't be able to access the internet so uh, whenever you will close this uh, close the fiddler it will start working again normally so uh, we have opened the fiddler now what we need to do is we need to send a request so send the request to this api which calculates the square root of any number so send a request you will see that the requests are the requests are seen over here so we can manipulate and adjust this request so for that click E we have a copy of that request here we can click E multiple times that will create many instances of that request that we can manipulate. We need to go in inspectors raw and we can manipulate our headers and bo body whatever here. So I can change this to 128 and then I can select these two requests and press shift r5 so it will run each of the request five times so you can see that uh, it has run each of the request five times and we can see the result We can see the result here. So with the help of a fiddler, we can edit the request and run the request concurrently how many times we want. There is just one dependency that on uh, whatever computer or server you are running uh, the request, if it's capable of processing only 10 requests at a time then it will only process 10 requests at a time so you cannot do more the fiddler will wait for the request to process then send the next pair of requests one more thing is that if you are running an https request then you must consider one more thing go to options https and you have to check this checkbox click yes yes and then ok then you will also see https request over here that you can manipulate so this is all for the video if you like it give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel see you next time